Usaka sakabo. So a couple of y'all have reached out to me to either let me know or ask my opinion about the Hibaro episode of Love, Death, and Robots season three. So that's what we're gonna talk about. This show seems to never miss when it comes to the production of these episodes. Some of them are more cartoony, but this one was more realistic and I really appreciated the landscape more so than I did the characters, to be honest. After having watched it, I came across an article interviewing the person who came up with the whole concept, who I believe also directed it, and some of the things that they are quoted as having said really rubbed me the wrong way. Supposedly, they went with the title Hibaro because they thought it sounded cool, then went on to say they didn't even know what it meant. This is a problem because, at least in the Caribbean, the word has very strong ties to the indigenous community. The entire episode was intended to be about toxic love, but it also touches on our history of colonization. Now, if you haven't already seen this episode, I recommend you stop here because what comes next is going to be a bunch of spoilers. I personally would draw a parallel between the siren that's covered in gold with Taino women who were assaulted and unalived or forced to marry their assailants because the Spanish wanted gold. I also found it interesting that they chose to make the other main character a deaf man of color. A lot of people aren't aware that the Spanish were already mixed before they ever stepped foot in the Caribbean. It's possible that his not being able to hear the siren song, thus being spared at first, is symbolic of his not having been fully aligned with the Spanish crown because it wasn't until he attempts to unalive her and starts ripping the gold off her body that he's suddenly able to hear. All of the presumably Spanish characters met their end by way of drowning, which immediately made me think of Diego Salcedo, who was famously drowned by our Taino ancestors to prove that he's human and that his body would decompose just like everyone else's. All in all, despite the fact that the person who came up with the whole thing seems relatively ignorant of Caribbean history, I liked the episode and would recommend that others take the time to watch it.